So you want to copy fast. Well, that is something that attracts most of us at some point in our Morse code journey. And today, I want to talk about the different levels of Morse code proficiency and how that relates to how fast you can copy. And it will also give you some idea on what is needed to meet whatever your long-term goal is. It's helpful to have a foundation understanding on how you're going to have to improve to get there. Let's talk about something that is fundamental to the different levels of proficiency. And it has all to do with how our brain processes information. There's really two types of um, ways that we process that information. One is conscious. It's relatively slow. And when we engage in it, think about setting down to do a calculus problem. There's this perceived effort. Um, the more focus and concentration, the more of our um, mental effort that's dedicated to conscious processing of information, um, the more difficult that we perceive it. And it's anything that requires abstract, logical, analytical thinking. And it's the minority of the actual information processing that our brain does. Most of it actually happens through unconscious processing of information. This is lightning fast in terms of how that information gets processed. It's effortless, it's happening continuously, and it's automatic. And the lightning fast part should give you some intuition that if you want to copy at high speed, you're going to have to offload more and more of the processing of what you hear to the unconscious mind to enable you to copy faster. So what are the different levels of proficiency? There are four of them. There is the conscious decoding of dits and daws. The second one is the instant character recognition. The third one is instant word recognition. And the fourth one is focusing on the, the meaning. So let's take a look at each one in more detail. So the first one, the conscious decoding of dits and daws. When you hear a letter like R, did da, did, you are thinking did, da, did. And then you have a kind of lookup table in your mind where you go, hmm, that's an R. And everything about this approach is all about the conscious mind processing that auditory information and turning it into meaning. And it's also the slowest. The next level of proficiency is instant character recognition. There's two flavors of it, but let's stick with head copying. So in this proficiency level, when you hear did audit, you don't think in terms of dits and daws. You recognize the entire sound pattern of a character. You think are when you hear did all did. And the unconscious mind is doing a lot of the initial heavy lifting, at least giving you letter by letter. The other form of this instant character recognition is based on muscle memory. And in this case, the unconscious mind is still uh, decoding that did all did. But instead of uh, thinking or, in this case, you have associated that sound pattern with a particular movement of your fingers. And so when you hear did all did, you press the R key. And what's interesting about this muscle memory based instant character recognition essentially you're typing everything that you hear, is that the, the meaning of what's being sent, that comes from literally reading uh, typically the screen as you're typing it out. 
The third level of proficiency is instant word recognition. And now the unconscious mind is doing even more of that hard work. You recognize the sound pattern of an entire word and without thinking about the individual letters, that word just pops into your mind. This is all about building up your, your vocabulary. The fourth level of proficiency is focusing on the meaning. And here, everything is being done by the unconscious mind. And the conscious mind can just set back and focus on the meaning. The other thing before we get on to the meat and potatoes of proficiency levels versus speed, one thing I want to point out is that these different proficiency levels are not hard lines in the sand. You can be moving back and forth between different proficiency levels um, in real time. Um, part of it might be based on context. Part of it might be where you are in your Morse code journey and your current proficiency. So, for example, say that you, <clears throat> you are proficient with instant word recognition. You have a large vocabulary. However, you're still going to have to copy some things with instant character recognition. Call signs, uh, serial numbers, that kind of thing. So if you're anticipating that someone's going to send something that you're not as familiar with, you're going to pay more attention and really focus on character by character. And so this takes us <clears throat> to this diagram, which I hope... Um, gives you an idea in one picture of the different levels and the speeds that you'll typically find yourself copying. So let's start with conscious decoding of dits and does. This is the lowest level, requires the most amount of conscious effort, and this typically is used to copy Morse code between 5 and 13 words a minute. And there's a reason why um, almost universally, people suggest that you strive to achieve instant character recognition right from the get-go. And the reason for this is that many people who learn at five words a minute, that lookup table is going to get in your way. The conscious mind can only go so fast. And once you get to around 10 to 13 words a minute, depends on the person, you'll hit a roadblock. And until you learn instant character recognition, you're stuck. You can't go any faster. That's why most people will recommend that you learn with the Farnsworth method. You learn at a character speed no less than 20 words a minute and an overall speed of 10 words a minute. And the extra spacing is put between the characters and the words. You'll typically be using this between a speed of 13 words a minute up to about 28. So there's a couple things that come into play. So one is if you're using instant character recognition, but you write everything down by hand. Well, it turns out most people can write no faster than about 20 words a minute. And if you don't learn to head copy, your maximum speed, you're going to be stuck at around 20 words a minute. So again, most people recommend that you, from the start, you learn to head copy. And head copying with instant character recognition will get you far. It may take you up to around, depends on the person, between 25 and 30 words a minute. The one thing I want to point out is that if you use instant character recognition and muscle memory, meaning you type everything, the general rule of thumb is that you will not be able to copy Morse code any faster than about half your sustainable typing speed. Um, many people, their typing speed is around 60 words a minute sustained, so you're talking around 30. And that may be a problem if you want to copy faster, such as in contests or 
just want to be able to um, ride you at higher speeds. Head copy is the way to go. And by the way, it's just more enjoyable. It takes less effort. And um, I just cannot recommend head copy enough from the start. It will save some headache. Um, and it's just, it's kind of difficult, uh, speaking from experience, to transition from keyboard typing to strictly head copy. Okay, so once you learn Morse code and you, <clears throat> you learn it with instant character recognition, you get up to standard speed. Typically, most people will acquire that proficiency somewhere between 15 and 20 words a minute standard speed. And learning to go faster is just a matter of practicing with slightly faster speeds. I would like to say you want to be comfortable with uncomfortable practice and aim for an accuracy between about 50 and 70 percent to maximize your your practice time. If you're not if you're not getting at least 50 percent, it's too hard. You're likely not learning anything. But if your if your accuracy is too high, then you're not being very efficient with your time. And as you can see in this chart, good practice will get you up to that upper limit, um, somewhere between 25 and 30 words a minute. And, the, <clears throat> and I'm referring to sustained copy, not just copying a, a lone call sign. If you want to go faster, this is where you need to, to lean in to instant word recognition. So once you, you max out with instant character recognition, that instant word recognition, that will take you at least up to 40, 50 words a minute um, with diligent practice working on speed. To tell you the truth, the bigger uh, difficulties in head copying with instant word recognition is a couple things that you will typically need to find success with. So one is, can you copy two and then three words successfully? And then the other one is, can you copy a string of words and actually have enough mental space, conscious uh, working space to understand what the meaning is? And I have practice sets to help you achieve that from the get-go. The Ingram practice sets, um, they're like the sets of two words, sets of three words. I use data from Google's Ingram um, analysis to tell me what the most common two and three word combinations are in the English language. And the benefit to this is that it vastly relieves the mental strain on uh, keeping track of the first couple and even three words. Um, I have practice sets up to five. And once you master that, then it's a matter of um, copying simple sentences from, from say the top 100 words, the top 200 words. The other thing I wanna point out is that as you're learning new words, the sound pattern of new words, there are many cases where it's easier to learn it at a faster speed. And it's just called a hunch. But what I have found is that if a word takes longer than about two seconds to send, it's too long to recognize it as a, as a single sound pattern. And even if you think about listening to my voice, how long is any given word? Well, far less than two seconds. So, <clears throat> so I found that some of the less common, longer words are easier to learn, say at 40 words a minute, than at 30. The one downside to instant word recognition is it's just like learning a language. You have to learn the sound patterns of many, many, many words if you want to write you or you want to, um, for instance, listen to a book, which is my long-term goal. What I've done to help myself and to help others with instant word recognition 
is to develop an entire series, a huge amount of practice that will incrementally expose you to a hundred new words in each lesson. So starting with sentences from the top 100 words and then on to the sentences from the top 200 words and so on, you're able to uh, learn a manageable number of words in one go. And from my experience, um, with a fairly large vocabulary, 40 words a minute is, is doable with instant word recognition. Uh, with a more limited vocabulary, it gets more difficult as it goes faster. Uh, 50, 55 words a minute, uh, not too big of a deal. Um, again, a restrictive vocabulary. The one thing I want to stress, there's kind of a magic point, but I find personally around 50 words a minute, the sound of the Morse code changes and it becomes more pulse-like. And that certainly adds a challenge. So it's not just the raw speed, but it just takes on a different characteristic, especially as you get 60, 65, 70. It almost doesn't sound like Morse code. Um, but again, at those speeds, absolutely instant word recognition. The other thing that overlays this, as you become more comfortable, more successful with instant word recognition, it enables you to let go, not pay quite as much attention to every single word, and think about the meaning more which is how we have real conversations. And at least from my experience, uh, <clears throat> that typically happens around 35 words a minute or so, and certainly goes well past 50. What I find is if it's too slow, it's you're just listening to the words. Um, they stretch out so long, it's, it's hard not to just focus on each individual word. Anyway, I hope all this was useful and that you get something out of it. If you have questions, I would be happy to, to follow up and answer them. If something's unclear, more than happy to answer your questions. Anyway, thank you for your time. I wish you all the best on your own Morse code journey.